life of salvation is supposed to be a very simple life to live. Very direct. But because Satan knows that, he has birthed corruption from the simplicity which is in Christ by diverting the light and making it say what it's not saying, making it impress what it's not impressing. Now, unfortunately, he does not just end in his own agents that are directly serving him, but even those that are indirectly serving in ignorance. He says in the last days, the spirit speaks expressly that some shall give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, and they shall depart from the faith. And then listen to a seductive spirit and then yield to a doctrine of a devil and then stand in front of the church and teach it until people believe it that it is the truth that when somebody brings the truth that person who brings the truth now becomes the devil he becomes the cult he becomes the false teacher and they become the right teacher according to the to the hearts of men because even the people that are being taught are taught into darkness Shadows are cast them and because these shadows are cast them whatever for whatever element or thing doctrine teaching dogma before them on which a light is cast and dissuaded and misdirected by satan for whichever shadow they fall under of that thing is the very bondage of which they fall under is the very you know uh, deception of which they fall under is the very destruction of which they fall under okay I met a person who had been a prayer warrior for more than 30 years. And you meet somebody who prays more than three or four hours a day. They are casting out devils. They fast half a year or the whole year. And they look like they have been beaten all their lives by the devil. Somebody deceived them and gave them a wrong impression of who God was and what the devil really is. So you find people who are praying the most, but the, the most broke, most sick, most, most beggarly, most wanting, most uh, unfriendly people, most confused people, but they are praying. It's almost as though the more they are praying, the more confused they become. It's almost as though the more they seek, the more confused they become. Why? Because they are seeking in shadows. They are praying in shadows. They are serving in shadows they're doing all of these things with shadows the light is misdirected by the idols that have been set before them and these idols come in all shape they, they might not come in in the shape of the the indian small god that is molded by clay but they might come through all forms of ideas inventions innovations doctrines and these idols because their consciences are weak they are defiled that is why we don't see people with results in the faith. That's why we don't see answers. And some people are even settled for the worst there is in the world and think, no, I think this is how life is supposed to be. I think I'm not meant to have this. I don't think Christianity is this. I don't think Christianity is that. I don't think Christianity is this. I don't think, you know, that, 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 that God heals the sick. I think people are faking miracles. I don't think that God delivers people. I think people are faking them. I don't think this is this, that God can give you this amount of money without stealing. I don't, they have all ideas about what they don't think God can do that you almost can ask them what do you think God can do and they say he can do anything so if you say with God all things are possible how come you've not created possibility in the things that the idols have dissuaded you into and destroyed you under these shadows you lack the judgments of the spirit